Thousands have rallied across Pakistan protesting India's actions in Jammu and Kashmir. At noon, sirens rang out across the country, while traffic ground to a halt for several minutes. The mass demonstrations were led by Prime Minister Imran Khan, who addressed the nation and vowed to fight for Kashmir until it was, quote, liberated. North Korea has further consolidated the power of leader Kim Jong-un. Its rubber stamp parliament has approved a series of constitutional changes to ensure that officials called Kim's monolithic guidance. Uh, Kim will also be recognized officially as head of state. This, make, or this gives him newly stated diplomatic authority. But analysts say the title change will mean little to the way Kim rules North Korea. New Zealand is facing its worst measles epidemic for two decades. Nearly 850 cases have been reported this year, the vast majority in the country's biggest city, Auckland. That's prompted the government to ask travellers to ensure they are immunised for measles at least two weeks before heading to Auckland. Measles cases are rising globally. Yesterday, the WHO said over 360,000 cases have been reported this year, the highest since 2006. The death toll from the Ebola epidemic in the Democratic Republic of Congo has topped 2,000. More than 3,000 cases have been reported since the outbreak began about a year ago. Despite the development of an effective vaccine, health workers are struggling to curb the virus in remote and conflicted areas of Congo. But many locals are wary of the response efforts. The World Health Organization says it is working with all partners on the ground to swiftly identify cases. U.S. President Donald Trump has cancelled a weekend trip to Poland as Hurricane Dorian heads towards Florida. Trump, who was scheduled to attend World War II anniversary commemorations in Warsaw, said he would focus instead on preparations as the approaching, for the approaching storm. Forecasters believe Dorian could make landfall later today as a Category 4 storm, the second highest level. A state of emergency has been declared in Florida, with millions along the coast warned to hunker down.